Uh, Inti on Facebook asks, if superpowered beings existed, would you be for registering them and their powers? Ooh, Ooh that is a good one. Ooh. Mm. That's interesting. Cause that, I'd say yes. You, you got to tra yes. track it. Okay. Because suppose one of them turns bad. You want to be able to, and they have such power. It's like it's like these hands are registered weapons, you know, mm -hmm. like when you, uh, you know. So should we register Chuck Norris? <laughs> Is that what you're suggesting? <laughs> I think no. he was the first one. Um, you know what my favorite Chuck Norris one is? It's um, Chuck Norris can kill two stones with one bird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's my favorite one. Uh, on a side note, side note, Chuck Norris. We'll get back to the question. Uh, there's a Chuck Norris restaurant in Iceland. What does that mean? In Reykjavik. It's like a Chuck Norris themed barbecue oh, okay. restaurant. Well, I was just there a couple years ago. Is it new? No. What? It's been there for a while. How what? come nobody told me? I was there. What does it mean for a <laughs> restaurant to be Chuck Norris themed? Uh, there's just a lot of Chuck Someone Norris photos. Here's you <laughs> you your food and then just <laughs> punch you in the face with it. Um, it's just, I think it's their idea of what, like, American culture. Uh -huh. So it's a lot of Chuck Norris, a lot of barbecue. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah. And some, right, some country twang. It's fun. wonderful. All right. Uh, but anyway, okay, so so you are, you think there should be a registry? I think if you have powers beyond everyone that could save as well as harm, mm. we I want to know that you're there. Mm -hmm. And so I can invoke the absence of non-registration in the Constitution in this and say they should all be registered and you can't invoke the Second Amendment to not. Yeah, okay, so I would agree with that angle. It, because if, if one of them went rogue, oh my god. Yeah, they would cause a whole kerfuffle. Oh, oh right, right. Um, but I think you are correct that with their powers, there are some that could be dangerous or your hands could be an actual weapon. So like a gun, you register it. Right. But what is that? So Unless what is you're that? a Second Amendment person. Yeah, you don't register, <laughs> you don't register you it. You have a basement full of Full guns. of mutants. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, also it depends what's the percentage of the population. So say 50% of the population. Are you really going to register half the population? Like we're talking about. Wait, if half the population are superheroes, that's a different world yeah. that you're in. That, sure. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, well, so what's the percent at which you would be like, if it's 1% or less, we should register at 10% or more, like it's yeah. too much? Yeah, yeah. That, that's, I, I give you your Or thought. how do you enforce this? How do we know that these are mutants or enhanced people unless they, they come forward? They show up doing things like, like in... Uh, in the movie Unbreakable, mm, mm -hmm. all right, uh, the main character starts doing things that people notice. Yeah, and then all of a sudden he shows up in the papers. As and it's true for Batman and you know the Batman, mm -hmm. right? So, so you, st I think it's hard to hide these talents. If you were otherwise going to call you a superhero, it's because you're manifesting talents. That's all. Well, you could also have powers that you don't use. If you never use them, it's a moot point. Uh, well, you could use them secretly. Yeah, you could use them nefariously, couldn't you? Like, like meaning then, lots of, you could easily have powers that you either secretly use or illicitly use. That's if why you, you want to... secretly use them, it's of no consequence to anyone. Because it's a secret. That's my only point. But what if I could control people's minds? Yeah, or steal their hearts by turning my hand invisible and phasing through into you and then... Yep. And so oh, I'm physically a, removing so, their so, heart. So, so I'm when you said serial, stealing their heart, I thought you meant <laughs> romantically. No, 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 a serial killer <laughs> who literally steals people's hearts from inside their body. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like Indiana Jones 2 style, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Temple yeah. of Doom style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But more like like a like a really mean kitty pride. Then you'd have dead people with no heartless dead people laying around and you know somebody was up to something. That is not doing it in secret. That's my point. That's my point. Uh, That'd be a good show. So he agrees with me. The heart stealer. <laughs> the heart stealer. So I'm it's two, mine. <laughs> I'm two for two now. So you don't think they should get registered? I I I don't know. It's I think it's 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 a it's very complicated. I remember after the Avenger, after the last oh, yeah. Avengers came so out, there was an article that was like, uh, "You should absolutely register people." Like, like uh, mm -hmm. Captain America is totally wrong, and it was <laughs> like, "Oh, that that, that makes sense." Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think it depends on the scale, or, or you'd have to figure it out. Because so I'm my not point for like hunting down <laughs> mutants. Well, here's my point: you could register the Hulk, and when he becomes the Hulk, there's nothing you can do about it. But yeah, if he's registered, and you get a sense where he is, you can protect things from him, mm. right? You have some... So it's kind of just peace of mind. Peace of mind. Is what we're Thank looking you. for. It's Thank just you. like, it's... Yeah, but then it's like a slippery slope. So you have a little girl that can turn invisible. Mm. Oh, what are you going to... And is it the kind of thing where, you know, you can look up 
You do, you're doing X-Men stuff now, right? Kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know. So, so, yeah, so yeah, so if you can, depends what you can do, and what are you yeah. going to do? Are you going to hunt them all down? I don't know. That seems Yeah, would it change suspicious. our opinion on them, where it's like, you could see, a, oh, my neighbor's a registered mutant. I don't want to live here anymore. Like, it's devalued mm. this house now, because I don't, what, they could just explode. They turn the to fire. The real problem with mutants is the property value, the fact that they don't have <laughs> property value. I'm just trying you to know. think ahead for real estate. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. Really like smart in, to get into real estate in, right now. In the Marvel Universe, <laughs> New York here. is very inexpensive, because it's... You haven't read that comic, the Marvel Real Estate comic? Yeah. It's great. <laughs>